My name is Lynn Margulis. I've been doing science every day since I was about 16 years old. I teach at the University of Massachusetts. I have a PhD in genetics, but I really do much more geological things these days. In 1999, I was a recipient, one of several, of the President's Medal of Science from um, Clinton, William Clinton, and two days ago, I received the Da Vinci Award, that is the membership in the Da Vinci Society, and quoting them, the society is the, for, for the study of thinking, it's proud, proud to announce that they're giving me this award, and it is to, the goal of the society is to develop a world-class thinking curriculum, and to promote excellence in thinking by developing an honor society for the world's greatest living thinkers. That's somewhat of an exaggeration, but they gave me that medal. I reconstruct the past natural history from clues taken to be representational. That's in, in, in a historical science, that's what must be done. The thing that's most important about science is that it's a way of knowing. And it's a way of knowing that anyone can participate in. Of course, they have to have some background and they always develop more. But it's a way of knowing about anything. And it's at the end of any kind of science activity, people will agree that they have collected evidence that illustrates a hypothesis. And if it, the evidence is contradictory to the hypothesis. You have to, one has to abandon that hypothesis and look for another one. And one must, in testing any hypothesis or trying to establish it, consider all of the relevant evidence, which may come from all kinds of places, observations, measurements, and so on. And insofar as people can be objective at all, they will come to the same sorts of conclusions. So, so Science is a fundamentally useful and accurate and universal way of finding out about the world. So sci scientists always have to collect information, data, observations and measurements around an idea that's being tested for its validity. And if all of those observations and measurements corroborate and are consistent with the basic idea, the ideas, idea then has got to be published and, and be available in an open and transparent way that others can criticize. If the hypothesis is really correct, the criticisms are uh, a stand up. That is, a scientist has no better friend than valid critics, appropriate critics who to whom they respond, um, and if the criticisms uh, lead to abandonment of the hypothesis because it doesn't fit, the, because the facts don't fit the idea, then the hypothesis must be abandoned and replaced with something more adequate. And as science goes on, the adequacy of the, of the basic idea and the hypothesis is corroborated over and over again by lots of people from lots of angles and usually generates sub-hypotheses or, or related ideas that can also be investigated. But of course, science is never secret when it's done right. There's, I would say that there's no bad science, there's just lots of things that are called science that aren't science because science is a way of finding out that is self-correcting and involves many people over and over again the same observations or observations that are expand that, that are generated by the hypothesis itself anyway these are kinds of rules that international scientific people uh, will all agree on science isn't science unless it's published unless it's openly published and made available for criticism by anyone who feels that they can criticize well if evidence is removed no scientist can possibly reconstruct what happened. You can't do science when you are deprived of the evidence and when your hypothesis is the least valid instead of the most likely. It's pre trying to prove preconceived ideas. So we're not doing science here. We're not doing bad science. We're just not doing science at all is my claim. Uh, that is the most unscientific thing that you can possibly think of. Not to look because there's, you don't expect to find evidence. They state these conclusions for which there's 
virtually no evidence, and then they ignore conclusions that can be drawn from the evidence, this is not a, a scientific procedure at all. So clearly, if you have to lie or deny or ignore evidence, you are not doing science at all. I don't, what you're doing is lying, basically. Well, people do this every day, and they call it science. And the people who do it call themselves scientists. I claim they're not doing science at all. They're doing propaganda or, or publicity or whatever they're doing, but it's not science. It's not playing by the rules of science. <laughs>